Barack Obama makes his first trip as US president to Israel and Palestine, amongst little hope from Palestinians that he will bring a new peace initiative. Preceding his trip to Palestine, Obama visited Israel, where he joined Israeli President Shimon Peres and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in a welcoming ceremony. I, I, I'm so honored to be here as you prepare to celebrate the 65th anniversary of a free and independent state of Israel. Yet I know that in stepping foot on this land, I walk with you on the historic homeland of the Jewish people. Across this region, the winds of change bring both promise and peril. So I see this visit as an opportunity to reaffirm the unbreakable bond between our nations, to restate America's unwavering commitment to Israel's security, and to speak directly to the people of Israel and to your neighbors. However, the winds of change proved to be turbulent in the West Bank as Obama's helicopter landed in Ramallah. Palestinian factions were galvanized into action as they marched through the center of Ramallah and attempted to reach President Mahmoud Abbas's compound. Scuffles broke out with members of the Palestinian Authority as they were prevented from reaching their target. We are here today to send a clear message to the uh, uh, American uh, President uh, Barack Obama that the Palestinian people is more determined to achieve uh, the goals of return, of self-determination, uh, of uh, the right of building our own uh, independent state uh, in uh, the Palestinian territories. And we want to say clearly that we refuse all the pressure the United States is putting on the Palestinian shoulders and the Palestinian leadership shoulders. Uh, the uh, United States is a partner uh, ship with the Israeli occupation. <laughs> Protesters explained to me that they were angry with the Obama administration for discussing the possibility of supplying 3.1 billion in military aid for the year 2013 to Israel, including financing the Iron Dome system and increasing U.S. bilateral support to Israel. During the press conference with Abbas, Obama stated that Israelis and Palestinians had to break free of the formulas that have been tried and tested. During the press conference, Obama paid homage to both sides looking towards a long-term solution towards peace, rather than taking short, incremental steps. Palestinians immediately responded by stating there will be no peace so long as Israel continued to expand settlements. Obama then responded by stating that Palestinians need to seek their sovereignty and Israelis their security. The only way to achieve that goal is through direct negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians themselves. There is no shortcut to a sustainable solution. In our discussion with President Abbas, uh, I heard him speak eloquently about the difficult issues that cannot be ignored. Among them, problems caused by continued settlement activity, the plight of Palestinian prisoners, and access to holy sites in Jerusalem. Obama finally stated that the status quo is not a status quo because it's so difficult to reach a peace solution. He said that Palestinians and Israelis cannot give up on the search for peace and that America would be there to mediate and to listen to both sides. When questioned, Obama refused to comment on the measures or procedures that may take place in order to achieve this objective.